Hey there, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you how to do a release build for your iOS project in Flash Builder 4.5. So this assumes that you have already created the app, you've tested it on your device, and you're ready to upload to the App Store. And first things first, make sure that you have created and downloaded a distribution certificate and a distribution profile for the app that you're trying to submit. And I have tutorials showing how to do that, so make sure you watch those. And it's very important that you create and download the distribution certificate. You do that typically just once, and it's associated with your computer. And then when you create apps for the App Store, you would just create new provisioning profiles that you would use for uh, distribution in the App Store. So I want to show you how to do this on the keychain because if you're deploying iOS apps, you just have to face it. Unfortunately, because of the way Apple has it set up, you have to use the application loader program on a Mac. So here I am in Keychain. I'm in the login and I've got my keys. And over here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. And the keys represent the certificates that I've created. So I've got my developer one and I've got my distribution. Now, uh, make sure it says distribution. If it says just developer and you don't have any other keys to twirl down, you haven't installed it yet. So make sure you have it, it says distribution. You're going to go in, you're going to right click and you're going to say export. And then you're going to save it and you're going to give it a password. And remember all that information. It's identical to doing a developer certificate, a .p12 file. But here you're doing it for distribution. Now, um, so let me show you, for example, um, here I have my, this is the developer certificate, and here is the distribution certificate that I've already saved. Now, notice here I've got my provision profile. Here's the development one, here's my ad hoc one, notice that other video, and then here is the provisioning profile for the app. And I created this in my other tutorial, I just downloaded it, and there it is. Okay, let's jump right in. So you've got Flash Builder open, and here I'm just looking at this uh, simple multi-touch one, and I'll just walk through the steps, um, show you how it's done. I'm not going to actually submit this to the App Store, even though it's really, really cool, and probably my best work. Although my, my app that is on the App Store, I would say that is my best work. Uh, look, at, look it up, Brent Arnold, it's there. Okay. First things first, we need to make sure that the bundle ID is correct. And so it's in the app XML file. So if I click over here, and here it's referred to as the ID. And so again, this must match the distribution provisioning profile that you created. And so for mine, I called it my cool app. Uh, you go ahead and make sure this information is all correct. Make sure you have a version number and then go ahead and save that. Now, let's go to Project and choose Export Release Build. And it's gonna bring up this dialog and it says, okay, what project, what target, and then we're gonna say, you know, where do you wanna export this? And I can just export it to the desktop and I'm just gonna click, it says open, go ahead and click that. And then notice it says signed packages, signed air app, and so we want this one for target. So make sure that's selected and go ahead and choose next. Now it's uh, sitting here and this is important. This is left over from my development profile. So let's change that, right? We're going to browse, go to desktop, and we're going to choose Brent distribution dot P12. And it just says open right here. Go ahead and click open. Now enter the password. Uh, you can remember the password for the session if you're going to, you know, chances are you do this right, you don't have to re remember it. Again, this is very important. Make sure you change this so that the profile matches and it's called My Cool App. And again, it just says open. All right, so now that these match, then we want to select the package type. Notice this little error. error. 
no package type selector. Okay, we want a final release. Notice here it also says ad hoc. So uh, if you were doing an ad hoc build, remember you would still use the same distribution certificate, but you would then use the ad hoc profile. So that's where you would sign for ad hoc. But again, this is a final release. We're ready to upload this puppy. So go ahead and select that and choose finish. Now it's going to go through and it's doing its thing. And this may take a little while. It's okay. It may take a few minutes, um, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And for this small of an app, it shouldn't take too long. But uh, if I stop talking and I cut away, just so you know, I did it because it may be taking too long. All right, while this is working, I just want to give a shout out, give a big thanks to everybody who has clicked on the little uh, donate button on my website, tutorialsbyibrent.com. That's very appreciated. Uh, I'm happy to do these tutorials. So, and if you'd like them, feel free to make a donation. All right. So I'm going to cut away. So don't worry. We're going to cut away and it's going to be working just fine. Okay, now uh, what happened is the dialogue went away. And if I look over here, we're going to see I have my simple multitouch.ipa. Now this is ready to go for uploading to the App Store. And when you're ready to do that, make sure that um, you have to understand that right now this has been signed with a distribution um, provisioning profile and you won't be able to install it on your device. Now there are ways to, uh, there's some stuff you can do with the Xcode and I haven't done it. Uh, typically I would go from one, if I know that that a, uh, like you could test it with ad hoc builds because you can do a release build with ad hoc. So you, you can get the same results. Um, there are ways to check it. I, again, I haven't done it, but maybe I'll do it some other time. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense how to do a release build using Flash Builder 4.5. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you on the other side.